Live, and we're back. It's a <clears throat> excuse me. It's a new mutator, and I have a special guest with me uh, for th this uh, series of casts. Uh, it is a uh, Southern Parkins versus the Silent Sentinels, and uh, special guest. Why don't you uh, speak up, introduce yourself? Hey, this is Osmo, captain of TSS in this game, and. Osmo, I, I, you know, for some reason I've always wanted to pronounce that Asmo, so I guess Osmo is, is how it's pronounced. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're looking at the Silent Sentinels right now. That's uh, going to be this black team here. It is, the map is actually Grilling Grounds, and uh, I also do want to thank Osmo for joining me. I don't know if I've... Uh, yes, so thanks, Osmo. Uh uh, he is going to be captaining for the Silent Sentinels. Smack my bitch up is uh, is present as well. Roadkill, Kron One, Toxin, Honky, Monty, and Lizard King. Uh, not a bad uh, lineup, if I might uh, say so myself. Although sm the identity of Smack my bitch up, I'm not sure quite who that is. Yeah, that's blonde. That's blonde. Oh, yeah, okay. It's changed his name the past few games. So, yep. Okay, because I'm I've been wondering that ever since I casted uh, the R the the match against R three, in earlier in the DE four. So yes, we are in the DE four, and it is a bottom bracket match across from the Sentinels. It is going to be the Southern Parkings led by Giant Killer General, uh, Chohan or Kruniak, who uh, also casted with me previously. Uh, Paris, uh, Craig, Genghis Khan, uh, I guess that's Homer. Yep. And Randy Marsh and Eastwind. I believe Randy Marsh is Browning. I'm not Browning. sure though. Okay, so Randy, Randy, yeah, I think, I think, I think Kruniak, uh, I think that's what he said as well. So, I don't know, let's, let's take a look here. It looks as if we have, uh, eight on eight coming into this match. Um, can you, uh, can you give us a little bit of insight on your trade here? Um, yeah, so we decided to go pretty much the standard, I think, what most people go, and we decided to go with Max Artery, and we just sort of wanted to fight him straight up mid and hope we could LBC them. Alright, yeah, because you got, um, basically like Max Archers and a, a ton of Warlocks, Max Tro. And then you're just, it looks like you're just going to sit these warriors on your flag and then send out all the berserks as well. Yep, I'm just use a couple for scouts. So I guess that is the standard trade. It looks like they're doing kind of the same thing, right? So um, <clears throat> why do you think that is the standard trade for this map? Um, it's, there's no like big open gaps that you can run by really, so sort of hard to do a rush in my opinion on this map with all the locks since you're forced to go in a small gap and yeah the archers are just really good for preventing the trout to kick melee yeah yeah definitely um and so what were you kind of thinking coming into this game it looks like you you gave lizard king the tro and genghis khan is kind of opposite him there and they're going to get into uh, something of a staring contest So uh, basically, your your strategy is just to to do this the uh, the customary mid battle. Um. Yeah. I was gonna. I think our plan was just to see how it went at first, just be seen up, and if we started to have problems, we could always just sort of fall back and play for the tie this game since it's captured the flag. So we were just trying to fill things out see how we'd do against them since they're one of the better teams in the tournament right and it looks like you scouted uh, you scouted the sides with the berserks and you know that was just a precaution uh, you know a, a cautionary measure to ensure that there is no funny stuff going on in this game I imagine yeah just to make sure they ne don't do any like berserk flakes which some people do And uh, do you, was there anything at all that you regretted this game, or were you just uh, was a? I mean, what what is kind of like the? I don't I I haven't actually watched this film, so I don't know what goes on exactly. 
but uh, can you uh, give us a little bit of insight as to you know how what your thoughts are on this particular map? Uh, how, it, how it went? Yeah, so, so this game is pretty interesting, as people will see later in this game. Okay. That there ended up being a lag issue, I guess, for a lot of the people on our team and some on their team. Uh huh. So, so it was going to be a map that we planned on replaying later, actually, but we decided not to. So this was the this this must have been the game that was thrown out, so to speak. Oh, nice yeah. shot there by uh, looks like Monty taking out a warlock with his own. And it uh, it looks as if you guys are in pretty good shape. I mean, you're you're up in percentages. Yeah, we had a good start to this game, so that was good. And it looked like we were gonna have a chance to win early, but then yeah, those people had those issues, I guess. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but I guess it hasn't happened quite yet. No, you'll definitely see it in chat. Everyone starts yelling, lag and stuff like that. So what was uh, what was your team's? I mean, obviously Southern Parkians are kind of a, they're kind of a a pretty skilled group of players. What was uh, what were some of the things your team was thinking coming into this match? Well. Um, we've done pretty good against the other good teams we played, like my team. As far as like straight up BC goes, we're able to keep up with them in percentages usually. But yeah. it seems like the better teams we played against, they just outstrat us a little bit. So going into this match, we thought we'd have a pretty good chance on the dark maps because in the dark maps, it seems that it's a lot more about just killing the other team. But we were. At least I was a little bit worried about the light maps. And that's because the light maps are a little bit more, uh, uh, well, they're slower paced, and so there's a little bit more strategy, I, I suppose, that go into uh, like unit placement, positioning, and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Okay. Uh, was was your morale, uh, you know, pretty good coming into these games, or did you just not even care? Like what? <laughs> You know, give us a little bit of insight into uh, into you know the mind of Team Sentinel coming into this uh, coming into this match. Um, we definitely realized that we were the underdogs going into the match, so we were hoping since this first game was a dark map with Chow and our most of our players are pretty good dark players that we could win this game, and then maybe that would like make the other team think that. We might have a chance against them, but yeah, it didn't work out so well for us. So you were just put us in a hole. So you were just hoping to gain some momentum uh, by having a strong showing in this game. Yeah, if I understand you. So what? Um, obviously, there were some uh, some issues with uh, you. Kind of had a rivalry going with R three. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> Uh, that was pretty funny. I didn't really have an issue with any of their players. I just messed along, uh, messed around for the drama or whatever. But I guess Lizard King and Pogi, they really don't like some of the R3 members, <laughs> so they're Fantastic. going back and forth on the forum, so it's pretty funny. And it just sounded like somebody lost a Warlock, um, although I didn't, I didn't see it. I know that... I think it's Kron 1 losing a couple of archers there in the west. But other than that, uh, Sentinel, Sentinels are looking pretty good. They have a, a slight percentage advantage at this point. Yeah, another Warlock goes down somewhere. Oh, now it's looking about even. Yeah. As, as uh, Kron 1 is, well, he's kind of dueling with Paris at this point. Paris, and actually, uh, looks like Homer is kind of uh, is trying to take uh, some pot shots off as well. Yeah, so I so you said that your team, the Sentinels, 
are uh, pretty confident when it comes to kind of uh, kind of like the brute force, like uh, like dark dark map material, but a little bit less confident when it comes to light maps because um, you're all pretty much. Uh, I I would say most of the most of the players on your team are are very strong. Uh, very strong at playing like body counts and uh, game types like that, maybe free for all. And uh, but but I you know as as far as like uh, as far as like team cohesion for like a, a two team tournament, I'm not sure. Did so you had a similar? Um. Well, I think our we had a good team like. Against most teams, I really wouldn't be that worried. It's just that I know that a lot of these guys on the SP team have played in tournaments on the same team before. Like, I think most of yeah. them are members of the Bulls. And so, yeah, I think that gets a little bit of advantage. So did the... Uh, would, you say, would it be uh, fair to say that your roster... I mean, have you guys played very much together? Or were you just kind of like, you know... I wouldn't... Maybe not a rabble team, but uh, were you just picking up guys from, you know, um, that you've been playing with, but uh, haven't had too much experience playing on a team together? Yeah, I've played with a few of these guys on the same team, like Roadkill and Blonde. I've been on their teams a lot in tournaments, so I haven't been used to playing with them, but for the most part, what I can think off the top of my head, it was my first time teaming with a lot of them in a tournament setting, so... So how how did everyone on your team uh, do? Was there anybody on your team that you were like, okay, I'm definitely not going to, uh, definitely not going to ask invite them to be on my team ever again? Was there anybody <laughs> like that? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was after the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should say a name, but most people probably already know. Okay. Well, you don't have to say that if you don't want to. Uh, it looks like uh, there was a slight engagement there. Lizard King uh, taking some damage on his tro. Uh, basically, the west flank pretty much collapsing for the Sentinels, and you know, a small Berserk squad, Paris, uh, getting through, and to put some pressure on that flag, and Giant Killer General as well. Yeah, actually, I wasn't paying attention right there, but I'm pretty sure that's when people started yelling lag when they just tore up all that. Personally, I didn't get lag in the game, so it's hard for me to tell, but everyone on my team said they were lagging. Well, I was I was kind of watching for it, but uh, if it happened, I didn't see it. But uh, that might have been because I was uh, busy talking <laughs> or something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like uh, Southern Parkins going to be pressing uh, 79 to 41 percent. All of a sudden, all of that artillery just gets eaten up by th those berserks and uh, and those tro as well. Oh, so uh, so here we go. Roadkill saying it's choppy. Lizard King. It looks like he's in green. And Homer, Homer, conceding. He's saying yeah. And yeah. So actually, uh, quite a f quite a number of players. Uh, kind of complaining of lag at this point. So I guess that's understandable if uh, if you did agree to a replay. I, the the terms of whether or not a replay would be played, from what I can tell, uh, was if you if each team ended up taking two games in the rest of the uh, in the rest of the match, then you would replay game one. Yeah, that's pretty much what we agreed on. So you agreed that you agreed on that before you uh, before you started up game two or yeah yeah okay all right cool uh, so I'm just gonna take a second here to look at some of these uh, look at some of these individual players uh, looks like Monty actually did quite well on the east flank for the Sentinels with 97 damage he's gonna have the most by far for anybody on the Sentinels. Uh, for the Southern Parkians, Genghis Khan, 197 damage for him, 23 kills. Um, let's see, yeah, he was, he did have the Tro, so, you know, kind of the power units there. Uh, anybody else of notes? 
I mean, I guess that was a pretty straightforward game. There wasn't like any, uh, it was just, you know, kind of a war, a battle of attrition, I suppose. And, uh, you know, there, wa there wasn't like any one single play that I could see. Uh, would you say, would you agree with that? Yeah, they just sort of wheeled us down towards the end. Pretty solid performance from their whole team. All right. Well, uh, thanks again for joining me. Uh, Asmo or Osmo uh, is uh, is my guest, and uh, I am the new mutator. And this is the DE4 matchup in the Myth World Cup 2012 between the Southern Parkins and the Silent Sentinels. Game one was. Uh, what we just saw and we're going to show you game number two in just a moment thanks for joining us everybody and see you then <laughs> 